Thank you. And I thank the representative from Medford for bringing this bill forward. And it's funny that you mentioned the Red Skelton piece, because this weekend I had an opportunity to attend the all-star military salute to honor Korean War veterans and raise money for the Oregon Military History Museum, which is being constructed at Camp Withicum in Clackamas. Our master of ceremonies was Bill Shonley, uh, who many of you know as the voice of the Portland Trailblazers, and himself a Korean War veteran. During his speech to the crowd, he shared with us a story about the Pledge of Allegiance. The story he shared was not new, although it was new to me, and as I'd heard him tell the story, I thought how appropriate it would be to share it with you all on a day that we're having uh, voting to have the pledge recited in classrooms. And I certainly didn't grow up with Red Skelton. That wasn't uh, a comedian for my age. But uh, so some of you may have heard this, and, and, uh, but most of you probably haven't. And as the story goes, on January 14, 1969, Skelton offered his television audiences his reminiscence of an incident from his schoolboy days in Indiana. Mr. Laswell, Skelton's teacher, felt his students had come to regard the Pledge of Allegiance as a daily drudgery to be recited by rote. They had lost any sense of the meaning of the words they were speaking. As Skelton related the story, Mr. Laswell told his class, I've been listening to you boys and girls recite the Pledge of Allegiance all semester, and it seems as though it's becoming monotonous to you. If I may, may I recite it and try to explain to you the meaning of each word? And so Skelton's teacher went word by word and offered up the meaning of each word so, uh, that has been so carefully crafted in our pledge. I, me, an individual, a committee of one. Pledge, dedicate all my worldly goods to give without self-pity. Allegiance my love and devotion to the flag, our standard, old glory, a symbol of freedom, wherever she waves there is respect because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts, freedom is everybody's job. Of the United, that means we've all come together. States, individual communities that have united into 48 great states, 48 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose all divided with imaginary boundaries, yet united in a common purpose that is love for country. And to the Republic, Republic, a state in which sovereign power is invested in representatives chosen by the people to govern, and government is the people, and it is from the people to leaders, not from leaders to the people. For which it stands one nation, one nation meaning so blessed by God, Indivisible, incapable of being divided. Power to live one's own life without threats, fear, or some sort of retaliation. And justice, the principle or qualities of dealing fairly with others. For all. For all, which means, boys and girls, it's as much your country as it is mine. Red Skelton went on to tell his audience that night, Since I was a young man, two states have been added to our country and two words have been added to our Pledge of Allegiance, under God. Wouldn't it be a pity if someone decided that it is now a prayer and it too would be eliminated from schools and public events? Colleagues, our pledge is not a prayer. It's an affirmation of who we are as a country and the shared beliefs we hold as citizens of this nation. In this building and in our nation's capital, we may not always agree on how we solve our problems, but when our nation comes together, as it did for Boston and West Texas last week, during 9-11, or when natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy strike, we come together united under the flag. We open our checkbooks and our hearts because we're bound together by a love of country woven tightly in a tapestry of red and white stripes. And during every Super Bowl or Olympic Games, in every disaster, terror attack, or deployment of our troops, for every fallen soldier, senator, or president, there is one common theme always caught on film that ties all of these events together. On your desk is a collage of pictures taken after the second bomber in Boston was caught. Look closely at the images. At one nation, under our flag. It's a legacy I'm proud to leave my children and children throughout Oregon. I urge your I vote. Thank you, Representative. Further discussion?